Is it, is it on? Ladies and gentlemen, we're back here at this multiplex in Montgomery, Alabama, near Crampton Bowl. The first game goes to Pike Liberal Arts by a score of 25 to 23. We're playing Sampson. Uh, we play best three out of five. You go to 25 points. Every point scores. You must win by two points. So Pike Liberal Arts up to a good start. On the court for the Patriots, we have number 10, Addie Renfro. Number 19, Bella Malden. Number five is Emma Baker. Number 12 is Emily Bryan. Number four is Riley Copeland. And number seven is Mary Grace Brooks. We have three seniors, Emily Bryan, Bella Malden, Mary Grace Brooks. Mary Grace Brooks, they are all on the court for the Trojans. We have three seniors, and we are led or coached by Laura Lee Jones. Our manager is Emma Baker. Robin Snyder is our scorekeeper, along with Gene Allen. Regina Wright is our trainer. Donna Copeland is our bookkeeper. And our ball girls is Riley, or Riley Burkett and Gabby Gore. Point one goes to Pike Liberal Arts as Renfro serves. Good, oh, almost good save. Your score is one to one early. Serving for Sampson is number 34, Michaela Phillips. She's a junior. Point Sampson. Each team provides two ball girls. There are six games going on at the same time. All these are two-way schools. We'll run down those in just a few minutes. Point for Sampson. Ball is out, point, Pike LeBarge. Also competing at this time, Chickasaw versus Horseshoe Bend, Thorsby versus G.W. Long, Sampson versus Pike LeBarge, Green County versus Washington County. And the winner of this match will play Green County or Washington County later on at 3 o'clock or 3.30. Also competing at this time is Clark County versus Tuscaloosa Academy and Highland Home versus Wicksburg. Point goes to Sampson. Sampson up with an early lead, 4-2. to two. Later on this afternoon, Ayrton will play Isabella, and Lynette will play Bayshore, Bayshore Christian. Point for Pike Liberal Arts. It's 4-3 to three early. Sampson coming in is number two, Anna Kate Friday. She's subbing for number 19, Bella Malden. Serving for the Patriots is number five, Emma Baker. If you joined us, or, uh, if you joined us late, Pike Liberal Art won Game One, 25-23, five to three, Sampson early. A mile. Vargas enters the match for the Patriots. Amia, she is a 10th grader. She wears number 13. Also on the court for the Patriots is number three, Alyssa Barron. Seven to three early, Sampson. And timeout on the court. Pike Liberal Arts. Will you score? Sampson seven, Pike Liberal Arts three. Four teams from the South Regional and four teams from the North Regional will advance to the state championships next week, October the 25th through the 27th. They will be held at the Birmingham Crossplex and the Harris Arena. Uh, there will be six courts. 
Uh, the tickets to get in those matches are $12, and you have to go to GoFan.com in order to do that. In the North region, in 2A, you got Westman, Westminster Oak Mountain versus Lindsey Lane. You got Eider versus Holy Pond, Pleasant Valley versus Sand Rock, Lexington versus Lamar, Winston versus Hatton, and West End versus Donahoe. They're going on at this time. At 1245, Cold Springs will play Fife. Faultville will play against Altamont. And I believe that was touched by the Patriots. Eight to three early Sampson. Pike LeBron is trying to break serve. Barron, Vargas getting the ball over is Renfro. Nine to three early Sampson. Point for the Patriots. Serving, coming in is number 11, Amy Ramage. She will sub for number four, Riley Copeland. Amy is a freshman. 9-4, Sampson. Point for Sampson. 10 to 4. Sampson leads the second game. <laughs> 11 to 4. Sampson early. Like liberal arts is uh, making a few unforced errors, but Sampson 11, Pike liberal arts four. Playing today, later on today, uh, University Charter of Livingston will be playing the Brantley Bulldogs and Pleasant Home will be playing Kinston. And uh, those four teams have made it to the state tournament, but today they're playing the seeding tournament. to so see who will, is the number one, number two, number three, number four seed. Uh, yesterday, Charles Hudson of Troy lost to Jemison, three games to zero. You follow lost to Faith Academy, three games to zero. And uh, Rehoboth, I believe defeated Elmore County. No, lost to Elmore County three games to one. Good block. That's the way to get it started. Blocked by Friday. 11 to 5, Pike Liberal Arts serving now will be number 12, Emily Bryan. Brooks comes in for Barron. There's the serve, and it's a good one. Point, Pike Liberal Arts, Friday with another good kill. Emily Bryan, the senior is serving. She wears number 12. Pike Liberal, Art is in, Pike Liberal Arts is in red. Sampson is in blue. Good save by Sampson. Got a little bit of a rally going on here. Oh, 
Point, Pike Liberal Arts, Friday with a kill. Or oh, they cannot handle her. It's a, I have unofficially 11 to seven. Sampson, good serve by Brian. Ramish to Renfro, over to Brooks. She hits it to the corner. Sampson in blue. Saved by Brian, over goes Ramage. Vargas with a save. Brian to Ramage to Brooks. Baker with a block. Oh, that was Friday. Unofficially, I have Sampson 12, Pike Lavar 7. Five point difference, playing to 25. Serving is number 24, Shalee Mock for Sampson. She's a senior. They are the Tigers. They're coached by Vicki Miller. They have an 18 and 10 record. What was that, two hits? I think he called two, two hits on that one where your hands don't meet together when you get the ball over. 14 to seven, Sampson. Fifteen to seven. We're in game two. Pike LaRarts won the first game, 25-23. Replay ball from the other court enters play. It'll be a replay. Job Friday. Point. Friday will serve. She wears number two. Good serve. We have 15 to nine. Pike number arts. Down by nine, but down by six. Anna Cape Friday is serving. She's a sophomore. Another good serve. In comes Malden, number 19. Bella Malden enters the game for number two, Anna Cape Friday. Serving is number 20, Holly Warren. Point, Pike Lib, 16 to 10. Ramage is replaced by number four, Riley Copeland. Riley is a junior. Renfro serves. <laughs> 17 to 10, Sampson. Out. Entering the match, Alyssa Barron, the sophomore, replaces number seven, Mary Grace Brooks. Barron will serve. Patriots are down 17 to 11.
That call has been made all day where evidently they're using an illegal hand touch. I've got 19 for Sampson, 11 for Pike Level Arch, 19 to 11. Serving is number six, Ava Robertson. Good save by Copeland. Twenty to eleven, Sampson. Robertson serves again. Twenty one eleven, Sampson with a ten point lead. In the second game, Pike Liberal Arts won the first game, 25-23. We're in game two. Twenty-three, eleven, Sampson. Twenty-four, twelve. Friday replaces Malden. Baker with a serve. Emma Baker. Where's number five? Game two goes to Sampson, 25 to 12. Up comes game number three. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back at the Montgomery Crampton Bowl Multiplex. There are six volleyball games going on at the same time. This is the South Regional. I'm Forrest Lee, and I want to thank our cameraman, Mr. Dustin Gilly. Also want to thank Troy, C Troy Cable and C Spire for bringing this game, this match to you. Uh, it will be, it's tape delayed, and you can also find it on Facebook and YouTube later. Uh, Pike Liberal Arts uh, with a record of um, 13 and 3 is playing Sampson eight, uh, with a record of 18 and 10. Pike Liberal Arts won the first game, 25-23. Game two went to Sampson, 25-12. Sampson is serving first, and their server was number 24. Shalee Mock. Sampson with the first points in game three. Phillips is serving. And throw over to Baker. Double hit. A double hit is where a player simultaneously hits the ball um, with, with two hands, but not at the same time.
Three to nothing early for Sampson. Uh, Pilot of Little Arts with a point. Serving is number 10, Addie Renfro. She's a junior. Sampson three, Pike Liberal Arts one early in the third game. Good serve, point, Pike Liberal Arts. Renfro. Pike Liberal Arts is wearing red. Sampson was wearing blue. Renfro with a serve. Good save by Brian, we're in the net. Four to two, Sampson early. Serving is number six, Ava Robertson for the Tigers. Blocked by Baker, point, Pike Lib. Coming in for Brooks is number three, Alyssa Barron. Alyssa is a sophomore. She replaces the senior, Mary Grace Brooks. Here's the serve. Four to three, Sampson with the lead. Point Sampson, five to three, Sampson. Five is serving. That's Paige Norris. She's a senior. Six three Sampson. Norris with a serve. Ball is out. Six four Sampson. We are downtown Montgomery at the. Crampton Bow Sportsplex near Patterson Field, near the Capitol. This is Emma Baker serving. Point, Pike Liberal Arts. I got 6-5. Sampson with a one-point lead. Emma Baker, the junior, is serving. She wears number five. Pike Liberal Arts is in red with a blue top, blue bottoms. Sampson is in blue with gold numbers and black bottoms. Good try by Emily Bryan. 22 is serving. Allie Brooke Godwin for Sampson. They are the Lady Tigers, 7-5 early. Sampson, Barron to Renfro. Renfro gets it over the net. There goes Vargas. Good spike by Friday, Anna Kate Friday, the sophomore. She wears number two. Now serving, come, now serving for the Patriots is number 11, Amy Ramage. Amy is a ninth grader. Here's her serve. It's a good one. Saved by Vargas. Point, spike. We got seven up. That's Emily Bryan with a good hit. Pike LeBarts comes in at 13 and three versus Sampson, 18 and 10. Ramage with a serve, and it's a good one. Blocked by Friday. Pike Lib takes the lead, eight to seven. First ever season for Pike LeBarts in the Alabama High School Athletic Association, and they are the area champions. 
playing Sampson. We're in the South Super Regional here in Montgomery. Here comes Ramage over to Friday. It's good point, Pike. Nine to seven, Pike liberal arts. Ramage with a serve. And we have timeout on the court as Sampson calls timeout. Pike liberal arts with a nine to seven lead in game three, pivotal game three. Our head coach is Laura Lee Jones, Emma Baker, is uh, one of the managers. Robin Snyder and Gene Allen are the scorekeeper, and uh, they keep the stats for Pike Liberal Arts. Regina Wright is our trainer. And I want to thank ATI for their help uh, in taking care of our athletes. Miss Donna Copeland is also one of the bookkeepers. Our ball girls are two uh, eighth graders, Riley Burkett and Gabby Gore. Um, the winner of this game will take on the winner of Washington County that's located in Chatham uh, or Green County that's located in Utah. Uh, whoever wins two matches today will automatically advance to the state tournament, but there will be a seeding tournament tomorrow. Here comes Ramage serve. It's a good one. Ramage over to Renfro. That ball barely falls in. Eight to seven, no, nine to seven. Sampson with a down by one. Serving for Sampson is number 24. That is Shelley Mock or Shelley Mock. She's a senior. Baron Ramage. Friday. All right, I've got a tie game. Unofficially, it's nine to nine in the third game of a five game set. Every point counts in volleyball. You play to 25 points. You must win by two. Six ladies on the court for each team. Ball is out. That is a smart move by Alyssa Barron. She almost hit it, but she let it go. Now serving is number 12, Emily Bryan. Uh, she has heritage with the owners of Sisters, the banana pudding capital of America, of the world. Good serve by Bryan. That's in. Oh, ooh. Ooh, well, that was close. Very close. I've got 10 to 10. Very close. But a good call. Serving is number 20, Holly Warren. That ball is out. Point. Pike Liberal Arts, 11 to 10. Now serving in number two, Anna Kate Friday will be serving. In comes number five, Emma Baker. We've got a good front line in now. Ball's out, point, Pike Lib, 12 to 10. Anna Kate Friday serving. She wears number two, a sophomore. Here's her serve, it is a good one. Good block by Baker. Comes Ramage over to Brooks. Point, point, Pike Liberal Arts, 13 to 10. Friday with a serve. Pike Liberal Arts, 13, Sampson, 10. Here's Friday's serve. And, ooh, barely missed. 
13 to 11. Now serving for Sampson will be number 34, Michaela Phillips. Michaela is a junior. Out comes Friday. In comes Malden for the Patriots. Good save by Malden. Uh, Dick couldn't quite get to it. We couldn't walk. 13 12. That ball is in, Brooks. Mary Grace Brooks with a good spike. And here comes number 10, Addie Renfro, the junior, is serving. Here's the serve. It's a good one. All right, 14 13 is what I have unofficially. Now serving for Sampson, uh, the Tigers. I see number six, Ava Robertson. She is number 12. And here's her serve. What are we? Something was called. I'm not sure. I, I call the score 14-14. 14-14. Got a tie score in the third game. Sampson with the lead, 15-14. Serving is number six, Ava Robertson. Sixteen to fourteen. Timeout. Pike LaRarts. Again, we want to thank uh, Dustin Gilly, our cameraman, and we want to thank Troy Cable and C Spire for filming this game. This is tape delayed. You'll see it later on Channel Two on Troy Cable. Also, Facebook and YouTube. I'm Forrest Lee. We're at the Montgomery Crampton Bowes Multiplex. There are six volleyball matches going on at the same time. We're in the South Regional uh, Volleyball Tournament. Pike Level Arts from Troy, Alabama, is playing the Sampson Tigers from Sampson, which is located in Geneva County. The winner will take on the winner of Washington County and Greene County. Winning two matches today means a return visit to Montgomery tomorrow at 10 o'clock where the semifinals will take place. <clears throat> if you win two matches today, you automatically qualify for the state tournament, tournament which will, will be held in Birmingham next week. Serving will be Sampson, number six, Robertson. Seventeen, fourteen. Sampson with a three-point lead. Called it carrying on Brooks. 18 to 14. Point, Pike LaVars, 18-15. Now coming in the game is number three. Alyssa Barron comes in for number seven, Mary Grace Brooks for the Patriots. Patriots are wearing red. Sampson wearing blue. It's 
getting tense. 19-15, Sampson is the unofficial score that I have. Number five, Paige Norris is serving for Sampson. Sampson 19, Pike Lib 15. Balls out, point, Pike Lib coming in. Number two, Anna Kate Friday comes in for number 19. Bella Malden serving will be number five, Emma Baker. Emma is a junior. Good serve. Serve is in. Twenty to sixteen. Twenty-two will serve. Allie Brooke Godwin for Sampson. Vargas comes in the match for the Patriots. Twenty-one sixteen. Twenty-two sixteen. Timeout, Pike LeBrarts. Ladies and gentlemen, in the north bracket, teams competing today in 2A, Westminster Oak Mountain versus Lindsey Lane. Eider is playing Holy Pond. Pleasant Valley is playing San Rock. Lexington is playing Lamar County. Winston County squares off against Hatton. West End is playing Donahoe. Those games are going on at this time. And at 1245, Cold Springs will be playing Fife. Faultville will be playing Altamont. Uh, in the south region, you have Chickasaw versus Horseshoe Bend. Thorsby versus G.W. Long. Sampson versus Pike Liberal Arts. Greene County versus Washington County. Clark County versus Tuscaloosa Academy. Highland Home is playing Wicksburg. Um, those games are going on at this time. And at 12.45, Ayrton, 35-4, and four, will play Isabella. Lynette will be playing Bayshore Christian. That's in 2A volleyball. Top four teams remaining uh, will advance to the state tournament. Good play by Sampson on that one. 23-16. Good block by Friday. 23-17. Here comes Ramage. Good serve by Amy Ramage. Amy wears number 11. I've got 23-18. Down by five, one point at a time. Good serve by Ramage. I have 24-18. And number 24 will be serving for Sampson. That's Shelly Mock or Shelly Mock. Point, 24-19, serving will be Emily Bryan, 
Brooks replaces Barron for the Patriots. Good save by Sampson. Good gracious alive. Well, they've been calling that all day. 25-19. Sampson takes the second game. 25-19. 